Hello everybody, uh, this is Mr Pritchard. Hope you're doing okay and that you're keeping safe and well. Um, I'm making this little video just to show you how to use Purple Mash at home. Okay. Now, when you first go to the Purple Mash website, uh, it should look like this. If you've logged into it before, it will look a little bit different. You'll just have this login section here. But if you've never used it before, you'll need to find our school login page. And that's very easy. All you need to do is click on this part here find my school's login page. When you've done that, it will bring up a list of all the um, schools that are registered. And we just type in Mount Stewart. I think we're the only Mount Stewart around. So I'll click on the school, and then I'm gonna to go to the school portal, which is here. When that opens up, you'll have the opportunity then to put in your password and your username. Now, because I've logged in as a teacher earlier, that's come up already. But I've got a, a, a set up a pupil called Joe. And Joe's username is Joe. And his password is 33. Now, the password will look slightly different for Foundation Phase children to how it does for Key Stage 2 children. So Foundation Phase children, you will have a two-digit password. And when you click on password it will bring up this little picture box, okay? And you just click in the, your, uh, your correct password, 33, and log in. Now, teachers will have set work for you, and when you log into it, it will tell you how many pieces of work you've been set here, okay? And your alerts. So I can click on that, and it will show me what, um, what I can do, what the teacher has set for me. So if I go to that particular task, it will show me that my teacher wants me to design a sandwich. Now, this is already partially colored in because I logged in as this pupil earlier on and started doing this. Um, but you'll have a blank page. Now, when you finish your work on here and when you're happy with it, you can save it. And all you do is press the exit button, which is over here. That will then bring up two options. You can either exit without saving, or you can save and exit, which is what I'm going to do. Now, when you save and exit, it will automatically save that to your file, okay? When I'm happy with it, I can hand it in. And uh, when that happens, your teacher will have a notification that you've handed your work in. Or if you wanna go back to it later on, you can continue your work, okay? There's also some other tasks that I've set for the children here, and to open those, you just click on Start. Okay. I'm going to go back to the home page, which is up here, and show you some of the other things that, that are available on Purple Mash. Now, you'll see that there are um, it's split into lots of different areas of learning, okay? and you're free to browse through those and uh, access any activities that you want to. Okay. There are lots of educational games, but I'm just going to have a look at some topic work for now, which is this part down here. Okay. So when I click on topic work, you'll see that there are lots and lots and lots and lots of topics. So I'm going to choose my favorite topic, which is dinosaurs. When you go into dinosaurs, you'll see that there are lots of different activities. There are writing projects here at the top. <clears throat> There are drawing and painting projects. You can make leaflets. There are also um, books. Um, if you wanted to filter these so that they are suitable for certain ages, you can do that by pressing the add filter box over here. And then you'll see you can choose by year group or by um, subject. So I just want to maybe have a go at describing a dinosaur. It will open up the page, just like the sandwich page earlier on. And then it gives you the opportunity to, um, to do some writing, okay? Again, when you're ready to exit, you can save it, or you can just exit, all right? If you have any problems with Purple Mash, please get a grown-up to email help at mountstuart.com dot cardiff dot sch dot uk good luck